My ex-wife is back. Oh, she's back. She's pissed. Hello everyone! If you're a fan of the creepy, kooky, and downright bizarre world of Beetlejuice, you're in for a treat, because the juice is loose! Tim Burton's Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is just around the corner, and whether you're a longtime fan or just new to the madness, here are the 5 things you need to know before watching this highly anticipated sequel. This sequel has been in the works for a long time, over 35 years in fact. This makes it one of the longest gaps between a major film and its follow-up in Hollywood history. After the massive success of the original, there were many attempts to make a follow-up, including scripts involving everything from surf contests in Hawaii to haunted houses in Paris. But none of those ideas made it off the ground. It wasn't until 2022 that the project finally gained momentum with Tim Burton returning, making this film a true labor of love. People involved really wanted to make this film, so the passion is there. Now let's talk about the story. This movie picks up 36 years after the events of the original film. After Charles did sudden death... Alright, stop right there. I'm gonna have to tell you later in the video why they were forced to kill his character. It's very controversial, so please stay watching. Alright, let's get back to it. After Charles did sudden death, the family returns to their old home in Winter River. Lydia's daughter, Astrid, stumbles upon the infamous model town in the attic, accidentally opening a portal to the afterlife, and of course, unleashing Beetlejuice. This family drama mixed with the supernatural chaos is sure to offer a perfect blend of comedy, horror, and heartfelt moments. The one and only Tim Burton is back in the director's chair, and he's bringing with him his signature style, but with a twist. Burton and Michael Keaton wanted to keep this film feeling handmade avoiding an overload of CGI to preserve that quirky, otherworldly charm that made the original film a cult classic, one that everyone loves. In fact, that was Keaton's one condition to return. Keep it simple, keep it old school. So, expect a blend of nostalgic vibes with practical models, matte paintings, puppets, masks, but mixed with the modern day style that Burton has gathered over the decades. First up, we got the return of some iconic characters. Michael Keaton is back as the ghost with the most. The juice is loose, Beetlejuice. Will he be as politically incorrect as he used to be? We'll see. Winona Ryder also reprises her role as Lydia Ditz, now all grown up with a daughter and hosting a paranormal TV show. Now that is a fun idea. Catherine O'Hara is also back as Delia Ditz, this time as famous as ever and an Emmy winner because of her show Shit's Creek. Lydia's eccentric stepmother is now an art show hostess. Apparently, Catherine O'Hara is a scene stealer in this film. So that's who's back, but more juicy is who's not coming back. The Midlands played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis are not appearing in this sequel, which is really weird. Burton said that he wanted to tell a story focused on the three generations of women in the Ditz family. That's the official PR story. But one would be naive not to consider Baldwin is not returning because of his problem with the law. I guess he got very trigger happy. Also, well, Gina Davis wouldn't make much sense without his partner. Besides, she's very busy defending women in Hollywood. Also not returning are Otto and Juno played wonderfully by Glenn Shaddix and Sylvia Sidney. Them not returning is very ironic considering the subject matter of this film. You see, both of these actors have sadly passed away. Shaddix died age 58 from blunt frost trauma to his head after falling in his home in Birmingham, Alabama. And Sidney died age 88. She died from esophageal cancer in New York City. Also not returning, and this is the most controversial one, so discretion is advised. Jeffrey Jones, who played Charles Ditz, is not returning for this sequel. You see, in 2002, Jeffrey Jones was arrested and charged with possession of child pornography and soliciting a minor to pose for explicit photographs. Yuck. He pleaded no contest to the charge of soliciting a minor and was subsequently required to register as a sex offender. Jones was also sentenced to five years of probation in order to undergo counseling and required 
to perform community service. Good lord, thank you Tim Burton for keeping him as far as possible from this movie. But the movie is not just about the old faces. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice introduces us to a new generation of actors, including Jenna Ortega as Lydia's rebellious teenage daughter Astrid. Plus, there's Monica Bellucci as Beetlejuice's ex-wife. Yeah, you heard that right. Also, fun fact, Monica Bellucci is currently dating Tim Burton. We don't know how he pulled that off, but good for him. Also, Willem Dafoe is in this movie as a ghost detective who was a B-movie action star in real life. These fresh faces promise to bring new energy and maybe a bit of chaos to the afterlife. Currently, the film received a score of 78% from 40 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, which seems just okay, but there is a catch. These reviews come mainly from critics attending the Venice Film Festival, who tend to be a bit more snobbish towards pop culture films. Expect the score to change hopefully for the better when the movie opens and more American journalists get to review the film, including myself. I will be posting my non spoiler review on this channel, so please subscribe. But now let's talk about money. Beetlejuice 2 is projected to gross approximately $105 million in its opening weekend in the United States and Canada. This range reflects a strong interest and anticipation from audiences there. I'll be breaking down the box office results this weekend on my channel as well, so it's going to be a good one. Now, what about the future of the franchise? When they asked Tim Burton about a potential third film, Burton said this. Will there be a Beetlejuice 3? Yeah, well, if time frame goes along, I'll be about 100. So, maybe. I doubt it. That's it. Those are the five things you need to know before watching Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. If you're as excited as I am, please hit that like button, subscribe for more movie updates, and let me know in the comments below what you're most looking forward to. Until next time, as always, my name is Hector Navarro, and I'll see you on the next one.